the usual valuable contribution to this tournament. Very scrappy in that defence. Desperate bit of defending by Belgium. I'm pretty sure one of the game plans for Belgium would have been to keep this game tight for as long as possible, and this is a, definitely not the start you want. I think it's Pouvre who gets the last touch. It's almost got an element of own goal in this. We'll have a look here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. Hard to tell. Maybe Moran. Lovely ball forward. Nicely picked up. Ball to the top of the second. Another problem here for Belgium. Can they handle it? No, they can't. Dutch fans hopping in the stands here. This is a beautiful team goal from the Netherlands, but it's poor defensively from Belgium. They're just not tracking their runners. Freke Moos has essentially beaten her, beaten her relevant defender on the way through, and she's just got so much time and space. Look at her, she's totally free. Dink, two-touch goal. Delighted to see her on the score sheet. Oh, Freke. And they look full of movement and full of running, don't they? As they work their way along the baseline out yeah it's a strong carry here from Yoshi Berg and Stephanie van der Boer just steps across a few things to go their way now and this mistrap off the top is rare on the Netherlands but fast counter-attacking Dutch side we know th the thoughts of uh, Raul Ahrens and here come the Dutch again threatening another goal wow well you don't get much yeah, I did. Yeah. And it, it's here. again Moose coming my... through the middle and I whistled to make sure that you knew almost it was a beat. A penalty corner here. Might have heard Ali Kio. Suggesting a PC. Yeah, it's a clear PC. Good running though from Angathan. PC. It's a much brighter start this in Belgium in the second quarter. So they seem to have recovered from that kind of disastrous start. Of the passes of the tournament. It's an absolute beauty from Pien Sanders as she finds out was on the right hand side and then oh, there's so much time to pop it in that space. Good, good. Sotgu equal to it. Pass alone uh, deserves a goal. If that one goes in, the, uh, they'd have brought the house down. That was a genuine quality. This is bright from Belgium. And they found a goal. Well, I said they needed a goal, and now they've found... Well, you'll see here, Abby Ray on the baseline. She's got such little space to play with, but she's just simply getting a shot on target. And yes, you could say Koning is at fault here. She knows she needs to do better, but Abby Ray putting the They're ball. They're in game here. They're scoring, and then going straight on the attack once more, and the strong carry down the baseline. It's Van Gethen in the second who comes in, and it's... Just too much physical contact for the umpire's liking. We're going to see a replay of the goal here again. Look at the pass through to Ray. She's on the baseline, just putting it on goal, forcing the keeper to do something. Yes, it's a mistake from Koning. That's a lovely ball. Now, what can the D Dutch make of this? Into the circle they go. Ball's full back. Back. This from Yosha Berg is just brilliant. She's had such a good tournament. Look at the pace and the strength in her carry position. And yes, she's just throwing it in there. Just putting it in that area that asks so many questions of defenders. It just needs a touch from anyone, and it is a defensive touch. The way she carries the ball at such pace and such control just asks so many questions of Belgium. And it's a big defensive area. There's no doubt about it. This is completely accidental as the two players just collide. At all is a remarkable achievement. And a step up, another step on the... Now the Dutch are in behind here. You can see Dika here carrying in, and the touch is fortunate for her as it kind of pops back in, but I think they claim it goes out, and it does, yeah, just off the... Risked uh, surrendering possession. And that's what, you know, an early two... Oh, painful one, but that's... Oh, on reviewing. So, Har Hannah Harrison. So looking for the height of the ball, the first please, guys, on the defender. Time in the game, called into action here. 
Yeah, have you got it from another side, just so I can check it's um, the leg. Live lead created some real problems for that back line for Belgium. But the player I think that stood out the most to me is actually Freika Moose. I think it's really great to see her on the scoreboard today. She's been involved in absolutely everything. A little knock here. I don't think there's anything too serious. Any doubt in your mind, Maddie, that uh, these two sides were deserving of playing in the final? I think you could have seen Belgium or Germany playing in this, this match, and I think it shows how it is getting tighter at the top. But, like, these guys, the guys in orange, my goodness, they are really a force to be reckoned with and consistently, consistently win these titles and consistently put strong performances. And many congratulations once again to the Netherlands. Deserved winners. Well, now the, uh, we can see what it means again. I don't care how many titles you have to your name. Every time you can come out on top, it is a little bit special. And well worth those celebrations into the superstars. They undoubtedly are. Vane Moosenberg, the goal scorer for the Netherlands. And as it turned out, just a consolation for Abby Ray for Belgium. And Belgium got back to 2-1. We wondered whether the game was about to change. To have too many happy memories of the final itself as the trophy comes out. And uh, Marcus Hoffman, the president of Euro Hockey, has the trophy in his hand and he presents it here to Zandavar, the Dutch captain. Marcus Hoffman from Spain. Zandervaal, that's the money shot. Up it goes, so be careful with that trophy. It's a little bit delicate. It's been rough handled on many, many occasions. Title number 12 for the Netherlands.